Hi, this is Christopher Walker with Closely Observed Literature. Now, I love books, I love literature, but I also really love football, which is why this book for me is just, uh, it's just perfect. It's uh, a very literary take on the history of football by Jonathan Wilson. Uh, he writes for The Guardian, amongst others. Uh, it's called Inverting the Pyramid, and it's a history of football tactics. Now you might think, well, you have to really love football if you're going to read a whole book in pretty small print as well. I mean, that's that's the sort of print you're looking at with diagrams as well. You have to be really, really taken with the sport if you're going to invest that much time reading a book on just the history of tactics. And yet, it is one of the most sumptuous histories of football itself as a sport, as a cultural phenomenon that you will get. Uh, it had me yearning for the uh, the time in history when people would like the uh, the the literati, shall we say, uh, or the intelligentsia would would meet in these little cafes in Vienna to discuss the football and to discuss uh, the tactical choices made by their teams. Uh, I really wish that that was something that I'd gotten to experience firsthand. Um, the question a lot of people have wondered about over the years is why is it that England don't tend to do that well in international football? And this book has a very compelling answer for that. It's that we didn't evolve our tactics. We invented the game. We can agree on that. I mean, there are historical records showing that the Chinese played a game like it, but it wasn't football in the sense that it then kind of spread around Europe and then the rest of the world as the sport of football. So we've, we invented football, but we also invented rugby much, much at the same time. And if you look at the earliest tactical layout, you would have maybe five players in the most advanced position. The idea was that the first of them would have the ball, would run forward, and when he became, when he, he reached an obstruction, he would pass it back or across to the next forward, and so on and so on. And it was much like the way rugby's played. You don't kick the ball or throw the ball forwards in rugby. You have to pass it sideways or backwards. So that was the original tactic. That was the, the pyramid that became inverted. If you look at football today, a lot of teams are content to play with a single striker up front. So uh, they'll have five at the back instead of one or two. So that's the, uh, the pyramid that he's talking about having been inverted. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, of course, but uh, Jonathan Wilson um, takes us through the history of football and the history of footballing tactics. And uh, we learn a lot about um, the, the most important players, the most important figures in the history of footballing tactics. It's, it's a book for everybody who is interested in football. If you're not that interested in football, I suppose you're not going to get very much from it. But it is a magnificent book and it's one of the finest books that I've ever read on the subject of football. And I have read quite a few as well. So, highly recommended. See you next time.